everybody welcome back to another week in my life this week busy week coming up and also some travel heading back to Dubai early next week I'm gonna be back there for a few weeks so this is the last weekly vlog in Bali so yeah, we're gonna make it a good one update just launched the new Freedom Club website my education business been working on that as you've seen in the weekly vlogs for the past few weeks uh, even few months putting all of the stuff together and it's now finally live. New site and the new funnels, the new videos, the new automations, everything that I've been working on. So it feels really fulfilling launching all that because now people can see it instead of me just working behind the scenes all the time. Now everything is public, which is really cool. It's a good feeling. And so for this week, I'm focusing on building out a few of the supporting funnels, uh, creating a referral system, launching our affiliate program, lots of exciting things coming this week. Yesterday, I also did film a day in the life video. I was showing the behind the scenes of a pretty busy day for me here in Bali, launching of the new website and the new funnel. So if you did want to see the behind the scenes of that day, lots of shots here, it's just the raw footage, as well as filming a podcast, first podcast I've done in a while, then definitely worth checking it out. Shout out to Giannis for following me for the day and filming it all. But I was filming that yesterday. That's why this weekly vlog is starting on a Friday morning instead of a Thursday. About to head to the gym with my mate Hayden. We'll do a workout together and then I'll head back here and we'll jump back into some work. For all the OGs of the channel. You know what's in this bag. This was the go-to lunch order a few weeks ago, but then I swap it every now and then, because why not? But we're back. We are back. We'll come to this part last. We are back with the steak, the mushrooms, if you know, you know, and little fun addition, bit of eggplant. This eggplant from Shelter, crazy, crazy. So we're gonna have this, we're gonna have this. We're back on the Shelter train, baby. We, I went there yesterday and had it in person and it's just reinvigorated my love for their steak. So, gonna have this ribeye. I'm very excited, I'm very excited. Look at that goodness. Yep. Life's good, baby, life is good. Mate, I reckon mine are bigger. No, mate, you got a small frame, remember. Big frame, look smaller in Zoom. <laughs> okay, I was still a bit hungry, so I got more steak and avocado and sparkling water from Sunday Kitchen this time. Everybody knows Sunday and Shelter, my two go-tos. The restaurants that start with the letter S, the best ones, the best ones. So yeah. Let's have this steak, I guess, <laughs> and this avo. Look at that. Have you seen a more beautiful sight? Ooh. Just sent another email out to the list. If you watched my day in the life video, I walk through the launch of our low ticket program and 100% of the profits of that go to philanthropy. And so I've just already sent a few emails for the launch of it. There's a couple here. Yeah, the fast track uh, launch. So oh, that was the teaser asking people to say, hey, I'm interested. Then we had the launch and then we had this fast track launch too. And this is the one I just wrote up, which is focusing more on the philanthropy angle, really simple, just saying exactly what it is. And if they're keen, then they can go and click the link. So we'll see how that performs. That's being sent to uh, just over 7,000 people 
just like that one was as well. And those 7,000 people are people who have viewed uh, or subscribed to the list and opened at least one email from me in the past 90 days. So a more engaged segment, because our total list size is like 30,000, or no, close to 40,000, sorry. But not all of them are engaged, or they were from quite some time ago. So if this one works well, this next reminder email, I might just send one out to the whole list and just see how it goes. And also, a bit of a side note, I have a new goal now. Uh, I was on a, it was a call for Funnel Hacking Live with Russell Brunson. If you know Russell, uh, he's one of the co-founders of ClickFunnels, which is the platform that we've built our website on and we do everything through, apart from our actual platform, which is on a different one, uh, where all our content's stored. But I've been following him for ages and I was on a call where he was on Funnel Hacking Live, which is their event that they do every year at ClickFunnels. And they talked about this award here. And you might recognize those two, two lovely people, Alex and Layla Homozi. If you're in the business space, you probably know them or you're seeing their face everywhere. But there's this award. So ClickFunnels has a few different awards. They've got the Two Comma Club Award, which is making a million in a single funnel. We've done that. The next one is Two Comma Club X, making 10 million in a funnel. And then there's Two Comma Club C, which is a plaque with four spots in it. And each disc in that frame is 25 million. And so it goes from 25 to 100 million in revenue generated through one funnel, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, we'll get there one day. But there's also this one, which is the Two Comma Club Heart Award. And this is for people that use ClickFunnels and have donated over a million dollars to charity. And so I saw this and we just launched our philanthropy program along pretty much it's aligned with Freedom Fast Track, which is our new low ticket program where 100% of the profits from enrolling in that go to philanthropy. So now we've got another goal. I talked to Will and Josh. They were super excited to know that this was an award and we wanted to do it anyway. You know, all of it's going to go to charity and philanthropy anyway. But now we've got like this prize we want to get. We want to get this nice purple award. I think it's going to look cool. And I think it's obviously you know, for a very good cause as well. And I just remembered, I need to go for a run <laughs> before the end of today. So I'm gonna go and do that now before the sun goes down because running on the streets of Bali at night, it's not my preference, uh, but as the sun's going down, it's really nice to go and run outside. We're gonna do a quick 30 minute run and then come back and keep doing the work. The run finished, got it done. Now I'm gonna go jump in the pool. It's a funny thing, when I stay at places with pools, I very rarely go in the pool. I think, I'm either sitting at home working or I'm out at the gym or training, I'm not going for a swim, or I'm going to the big pool, because I'm doing swimming training. So I never really use the pools that are at the villas, but first time for this one, so. It's good for cooling down after a run because it's really hot in Bali and very humid. But yeah, let's go jump in the water. Oh, what's up everybody? Coffees have arrived. Just finished my call with Will. Josh wasn't there today. Uh, he's traveling in New Zealand. We had our founders call. We had it a little bit earlier today on the Will's request. So that's all finished. Gave some updates on the sales side of things, uh, new funnels that are being created and automations so that everything's working now. And yeah, now it's time to finish off a few things after I have, well, as I have these coffees. I'm going to work on a few updated playbooks for the team. Make sure they know exactly what they need to do with the new systems. And then we're in an interesting point now where then it's probably just a matter of pouring more fuel on the fire, I guess. It's not so much constantly building new things or adjusting stuff, it's, it's already working. Let's just pour more gasoline on that and see how it goes. Because then the systems will be there to handle it, the team members will be there and they'll understand what they need to do. For the first time in a long time, we won't have many like brand new things to do, which is a really, it's gonna be a good thing because I really just wanna focus on what's working and do more of it instead of having to build new stuff all the time. And I think that's a lesson I've learned over the past few years is that once you've found what works, just keep doing that because it's so much easier than having to constantly jump, even if it's in, within the same business, 
to different funnels or different ad methods or different channels of acquisition or ways to sign clients or close deals. If you find the one that works and you just go all in on that, it makes life a lot less stressful, it's a lot more consistent, and it means you're probably gonna grow a lot faster. That's my top takeaway for our Saturday morning. But weekends are always good, and weekends are always good. So I'm gonna have my coffee, and we're gonna keep chipping away, keep chipping away. Woo! Let's go. I've got a paddle racket, about to go play paddle. Been working all day, got lots of stuff done. It's been a very productive day. Lots of SOPs, lots of video walkthroughs for the team. And I love finishing systems because once the systems are done, then again, it's a high leverage thing because it'll keep working for you. So they're finished. A lot of sales related ones for the setters and the closers. So it's gonna help tremendously with all of that. The door keeps creaking, I don't know why. Weird design. But I'm gonna go play paddle now. I'm gonna get change, got a paddle game with some friends. And then, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty chill night, I guess. Not too much more work. I'm currently, well, let, let me show you what I've been doing. Because we're all about transparency here, I've been watching uh, Daniel's video on how he shoots his vlogs because I had a few ideas for some shots, especially like mounting the camera in a car, which I've seen him do, and I wasn't sure how he's done that or what kind of mount he's used. So I'm currently on Amazon looking at rigs and little clamps and mounts to use. So I'm gonna place a bit of an order on Amazon because I love Amazon UAE. Uh, it's, <laughs> I'm not addicted, but yes, I, I buy quite a few things off here. This door is driving me absolutely nuts all day. It's the wind or something, it's making it creak. And I just get in flow when I'm working and then it just starts going for it. Uh, I also think, I could be wrong, but I think there was an earthquake today. The whole villa started moving. And so I don't think that was the wind. I think that was something else. I'll have to cross check that and I'll keep you posted. But yeah, I've been on Amazon getting some new camera gear so I can film these videos when I go back to Dubai early next week. A few new shots that I want to incorporate into the mix, because obviously I won't have the scooter anymore to get the cool POV scooter shots. At least I think they're cool. I need something for the car, because I've got a car while I'm there. Uh, I just rented it today for the month, and so I need a mount so I can get some talking shots while I'm driving around. That's the goal. So I'm placing an order for a few of those mounts. We'll see which one works best. And yeah, just sorting out some other travel stuff for the rest of the year as well. Booking in some places, flights, cars, those kind of things. So it's just sorted and it's out of the way, uh, but excited to go back to Dubai. Look at this absolute piece of machinery here. I walked into the paddle place and I said, my friend, which one is the best one? And he said this one apparently, bubble up. I don't know, it feels good. I feel good using it. I feel a lot better <laughs> using this than the, the other cheap ones I've used before. How did we go on paddle? We played <laughs> I well. It, but I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> it's so hot. It is so hot. Playing paddle in Bali is a full cardio exercise every single time. But the competition was good. What's going on, everybody? It is Sunday morning, 10:30. This morning, I've just been working on some automations, getting some stuff ready for the big official launch of our Freedom Fast Track program at the education business. A lot of work has gone into this day, so I'm very excited to see how it goes. This is the first time we're really pushing Fast Track and people are gonna start promoting it. And we'll see how that goes. I've been looking forward to this day for a long time. And so that's gonna go live today or this afternoon. And now I've just packed and I'm heading down to Uluwatu because I'm meeting someone there, having lunch with them, wanted to meet them for quite some time, so looking forward to that. And then I thought, why don't I just stay down in Uluwatu? Because it's an hour and 20 minute drive to get to the place where we're having lunch. 
And so I thought I'll just stay overnight in Uluwatu, because why not? Because we can, and it doesn't really make a difference. So staying overnight there at a hotel and then heading back tomorrow morning and then have a busy Monday. But I've got to hop on the bike and I've got to get petrol on the way because I'm running out of petrol and I don't think I'll make it to Uluwatu if I don't fill up. Okay, okay. Oh, sit up here. It is Monday, Monday afternoon now. I was in Uluwatu last night, got back earlier today, a few hours ago, have had two calls, one with our head of operations and then one with my two co-founders, the education business, uh, Will and Josh. And so all the meetings are sorted for today and now I am about to head to record a podcast with Julie. And Julie was the person we played paddle with a few days ago. So you would have seen her in the video. So we're gonna go and record that now. I'm excited for it. I think after I did the first podcast, you know, which was in my day in the life video, if you haven't seen that, then go and check it out, it's on my channel. On that day, I went and recorded my first podcast in quite a while. And so now uh, I saw that Julie does one. I was like, this would be interesting. So we're gonna record one together, looking forward to it. And then after that, Rush back here, hop on the Freedom Club live call for all of our premium coaching program students, answer all their questions, do our classic Monday live call. And then, yeah, I've got to fix a bunch of things tonight for the sales side because we launched the new offer and I'll give an update on that later on because we've had some, some really cool numbers and some exciting things happening there. But because of that launch, there was a few things that probably should have been sorted before the launch and that's on me but we just got a bit excited and we probably launched it a tad too early. So I gotta fix those things so then it doesn't all explode in our face. But yeah, I'm gonna head to the podcast now. It's like 10 minute drive away, so I gotta get there. One, two, three. Three cameras. <laughs> the podcast is done. Julie, yeah. how did the podcast go? Uh, really well. You guys can watch it hopefully in the next couple of days on our YouTube and Spotify. Next couple of days? That's fast. I'm going to edit that now. Oh my goodness. That is commitment <laughs> to the podcast for Julie right there. I know myself. Either I do it instantly or never. So instantly. <laughs> well, it was honestly a really good chat with Julie. We sat down. It was like an hour. It was before. an hour, yeah. Yeah. And we just talked about business we talked about starting as a videographer which is something I haven't talked that much about so that was fun to share the origin story and how I got into business by making videos in Adelaide so that was cool the three camera setup as well look at the camera setup now they're all different cameras so props to Julie because she has to put this together and make it look good when there's a Sony there there's a Canon there another Sony different lenses but yeah, I think it'll look really, really cool. The quality is top notch. I saw the one you made before. It looks very good, very good. I'll try my best. <laughs> so I gotta get home now. I'm gonna hop on the scooter. We've got the community call, with the Freedom Club community. I'm gonna go and do that now. Let's bolt off. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Little update. It is Tuesday morning at 11, and it's been a crazy past 24 hours filming the podcast episode with Julie. That went really well. Very excited to see how that turns out. We talked a lot about travel and we talked a lot about my origin story with videography and running a video agency and how that transitioned into e-commerce brands and then after that into education. And so, yeah, excited for you to see that episode when it's live. If it's live by the time this episode goes out, I'll include the link in the description. So feel free to have a watch. Uh, it's a video podcast on YouTube. So you can check out Julie's channel, her podcast channel and give her some love as well on the episode. And now I've just been flat out since that. Uh, I've been updating some sales processes. Uh, we've just had so many changes with the launch of that new program and the launch of a bunch of new things. So I had to go in and, and fix some stuff. And one thing I've learned is that when you move quickly or when you're building a business and things break, it's not always a bad thing. Uh, that's what I've found is that if you're moving fast, things will break. Automations may stop working, systems need to be rebuilt or improved. Uh, sometimes you won't have access to certain data that you want to have. And all of that aside, if you're moving quickly enough, things will break, they just will. 
And it's a good sign because it means in my eyes, you're moving quickly, you're making changes, you're pushing, you're you know, actively going out there and trying to grow the business. And so having these moments where things are like, it's a bit overwhelming, things are breaking overall is a good thing, I think. Because otherwise, if you never feel uncomfortable, if you never feel that feeling of, oh, there's these things that are happening, you know, the, this has changed or this isn't working how it probably should, I think it's a good thing because it forces you to grow and step up. And that's what's happening right now. And so I love this. I love this part of the game where it also feels good because I know we are moving quickly and things are changing and we are making improvements. And so this is a good sign. So that's what I've been spending the past well, 24 hours on really, making some changes here, making sure all of our sales team has all of the information that they need. Because a lot of it honestly has been stored in my head for a long time. And I've had to go through the programs in excruciating detail to understand everything. And so for the first time, we're grabbing all of the FAQs and I'm writing answers to them so people can understand all the specifics, uh, even if they haven't watched every single lesson. Uh, so that's helping a lot. And yeah, little, little, I'll give you a little update on how the, the launch of the new program went as well. The new program, which I've showed the behind the scenes of the build and you know, actually putting all of this together, it's had about 350 signups since we launched it, which is really cool. And people are jumping into that. We're getting good feedback on the program. People like the content, people like how everything's set up and the kind of value that they're getting for the amount they're paying, which is cool. Because this sales page, as I talked about, I think last week, I think this was the most important sales page that has ever been created for the company. And so it was very important that this worked and converted people and gave them all the information that they needed. So seeing 350 people join in after properly launching it two days ago uh, has been really cool. So we're just going to keep promoting this and, and see how it goes, get people in, you know, to over deliver on value at the front end of the funnel and if they like how things go, then they'll stick with us because yeah, we're getting them great results for such a, a low price. But that's sort of our key funnel at the moment is leaning into this. So for the rest of the day, I'm going to keep chipping away at some of the tasks that need to get done for the new funnels and the automations and the systems, a lot of systems building at the moment. And then we're heading to Dubai later tonight. Hop on the plane, back to Dubai. Uh, and so yeah, it's going to be a busy final day here in Bali, getting as much done as I can, finishing off a few things, returning the bike, uh, the, the scooter that I've been renting, uh, packing up, getting my suitcases ready. So it's going to be a busy afternoon, but yeah, I'm going to jump straight into the work and get as much done as I can before we have to head off. And also, I think this is uh, cool to show you. So Luan, who edits these videos, absolute legend. We've got this video here. It's the making of the Freedom Formula. It's a pro or a video, sorry, I've teased for a while that we were working on. And this was a video that a long vlog, it is an hour and 27 minutes long, documenting the creation of the Freedom Formula program, which is our premium coaching program and how Josh and I traveled around the world and will for a little bit as well, creating it in 30 days. So this video is like a mini documentary on the creation of it. And I've just got the first rough cut of it, watching it all back. This was a trip that we did uh, earlier this year. And yeah, we had all this footage stored away that we didn't actually use yet or hadn't put together. There's William, there he is with his shaved head back then in Barcelona. There's me over there. So yeah, watching this back, it's so funny seeing how everything has changed since then. You know, creating the program, all the work that went into it. It's a really cool video so far. So this will be out very soon as well. Uh, there's me in Portugal after having a few Aperol spritzes. I remember that when I was sitting and recording, uh, it felt a bit funny. But yeah, very cool video and excited to, to share that with you all as well. So if you're interested in seeing the behind the scenes of the program creation, it's all gonna be there. Okay, and I've completely forgot that I do have to check out of this Airbnb at 12. It is 11.42 and so I need to pack up and leave. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I can't head to the airport early because the transfer is coming here at three. I'm gonna pack up now because the, the housekeeping came in and said, hello, are you leaving? <laughs> and I completely forgot that I scheduled to leave uh, today and I didn't give myself until the afternoon. So I'm gonna rapidly pack these suitcases and then we'll see what we do next. I'm not really sure what we'll do. World's fastest pack completed.
Bags ready to go. Room is done. Desk rearranged, put it back there. That was a better setup, I think. But it's there now. <laughs> Kareem, uh, not Kareem, go check orders. Okay, let's go. Might go to a co-working space now because yeah, I can't bring this with me. I might leave it here and then come back and get it before I leave. Made it to co-working and it is 2.50 in the afternoon. My transfer to go to the airport picks me up at four. Bike being returned at 3.30. So I'm about to leave here. I've just been getting some stuff done. Currently just making some adjustments to the channel, unarchiving or going from private to public for some old videos and updating the thumbnails on those. And yeah, just putting a bit of a content plan together for the next few weeks for the videos I wanna be putting on the channel. So if you're seeing videos that aren't just weekly POVs and these kind of weekly vlogs, that's why, because I wanna make more content for the channel and I'm really enjoying YouTube. So I wanna keep making more of it and building better systems for it too. With that being said, if you are a thumbnail editor or you know someone who might be a good thumbnail editor, just comment below. I need someone who can do thumbnails better than I can because I'm not very good at them and they take up quite a bit of time. So if you want to make thumbnails for the videos, then let me know. Or if you know someone that would be interested. Back in Dubai. It is Wednesday, 11.42 in the morning. Been a pretty, I guess, simple morning so far. Uh, got my Wi-Fi connected because it wasn't connected before when I moved in in the first vlog because I wasn't here for long enough. And so I got that connected, unpacked suitcases, uh, picked up my car that I'm going to be using for the next month. So they dropped that off this morning, which was cool. And then yeah, just got into some calls. Just saw Josh as well. Josh came in a couple of hours ago as well. So we'll be here in Dubai, living, working, gymming together for the next month at least. And then we'll see what happens after that. But it's really good to be back in Dubai. It's good to be in the apartment and I'm excited to live here for a bit. Last night or this morning when I went for a sleep was the first time I've slept in this apartment because when I moved in vlog one, I didn't stay here overnight. I just napped on the couch for like 45 minutes before I had to leave to the airport to go on my flight to Bali. Uh, so yeah, this is the first time I got to sleep in my bedroom, which was cool. Gonna chip away at some work today. We've got to finish off a few things that are sort of lingering over the past few days. And we've decided probably to bump our US expansion forward a little bit and get it done sooner. The plan was October, all systems go, build out the US team and then go live in the US with our funnels. But Will's got excited about it, I've got excited about it and I think we're gonna move it forward so it'll happen over the next, well, in about two weeks time instead of at the start of October. So some exciting stuff to look forward to, but good to be back in Dubai. It's hot, it is very hot. And little funny story, I think Josh stayed here uh, a few weeks ago and oh, I think it was a month, month and a half ago. And I came back and I looked at the windows and they were all, you know, when you get condensation on the windows, I walked in and it was like that and it just clicked. I was like, did he leave the air conditioner on for a month? Uh, so I think he did. I think he did. So we'll have to wait and see the electricity bill and see what happened there. Uh, and if I've got stitched up from having the aircon on for a month and a half while I wasn't here. Thanks, Josh. Just waiting for my lunch to get here. I've got a Korean barbecue beef bowl. It's my favorite order on Kareem here in Dubai with sriracha mayo, of course. It's so good. And then I will get back into some work. Got a couple more calls this afternoon and then I've got paddle tonight. So let's get it. This is the new Dubai order. I haven't ordered from this place before. 
Look at the sides first. It all looks orange now. It does look a lot more appealing in normal light, but I've got the hue lights set up in the apartment. I've got the orange and purple glow, red everywhere. So that's why it makes it all look the same. But we've got some sweet potato fries. I don't know what this is on top, but there's some gravy on there, or mushroom gravy. San Pellegrino, of course, sparkling water. A 350 gram or 400 gram ribeye. Bunch of sausages and a salad. Mum, you'd be proud of me. I'm eating more salad. So that's what we got going on. That's what we got going on. I'm so excited to eat this. I am so hungry. Another week, done and dusted. It's good to be back in Dubai, feeling really good since I got back here in terms of productivity, just feeling settled, feeling at home, just sitting here in my apartment for the first time, sleeping in my bed for the first few nights uh, because I haven't slept in this one uh, yet. So that has been good. And yeah, I've got a full month here of just head down, getting as much stuff done as I can, preparing for Q4. And so over the next few weeks, I'm going to be showing you a bit more behind the scenes on the e-commerce side of things, because since I started making these videos, a lot of it has been focused on the education side for Freedom Club. But I really want to show you the behind the scenes on the e-com side as well, because preparing for Q4, I'm not leaving it too late. It's early September, but you know, some people's prep starts a lot earlier than this. So I'm going to be diving into all that, trying to have an ultra successful Q4 with the e-com brands that I'm running which I'm very excited for because as I've said previously, I miss Ecom. I miss being in the trenches every day and growing the brands. Even though I still have stores that run now and make really good profit and pay for a lot of things in my life, it's not like I'm actively spending a lot of time on them. And so I'm excited to go back into that and do it because I think it's fun and I really enjoy it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this week in Bali, in Dubai, and I will see you in next week's video.